Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I am your host Bhavesh Kumar. Today we are going to talk about AWS S3. This lab will be a short lab. This is about setting up cross region replication for our bucket from region 1 to region 2. We'll drop a file and see that the replication works. Looking at the objectives, we are going to create an S3 bucket, enable replication on that S3 bucket and then test the replication. It's lab time, let's move on. Okay, I have logged into the AWS console and we are at the landing page. Let's go and look for what all setup we have in this. I can click on S3, I can search for an S3. I'll just click on S3 over here. The setup is that this is our US East one and we have one bucket here. And you can consider this bucket as a production bucket in a production scenario, we'll like to have this in another region so that if this region goes down, this bucket is US East 1. If this region goes down, we are still able to run the business. And in order to do that, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create another bucket. We'll use similar name. I'll just say app config two with some characters to make it unique. And this is US East one. I would choose West two, Oregon. And create this bucket. Now we have two buckets, one in East one, the other one is in VS2. Now once the bucket has been created, this is an optional step because in production, when you're going to deploy it using some kind of uh, infrastructure as code, these buckets will be similar. Their all configurations will be similar, whether it is in US1, East1 or VS2, like DR or non-DR region. In those cases, everything on these buckets will be similar except their name that may depict whether they are region 1 versus region 2. Now in our case, suppose we are running this as our primary region. Over here we want to have a rule that anytime there is a file created or updated or dropped by another service, we want to have a replication of this file into region 2. Now. In order to create that, we'll have to go to the management, add these replication rules. These can be done by infrastructure as code also. You will have to define these replications rules over there, but we are doing manually here. I'll create a replication rule. The first thing you will notice is that in order to create this replication rule, we need to enable versioning on the source bucket. So we'll click on this, which will enable the versioning. And you can also go directly uh, in the management and enable versioning. Let me enter a name for this rule. So, duplicate data US West 2. I'm just giving a name. You can give an A name. This is going to be enabled. The source bucket is prod1. And we can apply this to all the objects. And then we have to choose a bucket in this account. There is another option. You can choose a bucket in a different account, different AWS account. But for this demo, we are going to choose our pro to this one. Choose path. Now this bucket we have chosen is in this account and that's a destination. And there is a requirement to enable versioning on this bucket also. We'll enable the versioning on that. The versioning is enabled. There is a requirement to have an IAM role that will be allowed to copy these files and drop it to the second bucket. So we're going to click on this and say just create a new role. And we are not encrypting anything right now. 
or changing the storage class in the replicated object it will be the same storage class and we'll save this our bucket is empty right now the source bucket so we don't need to say yes we can just keep it now now you can see the replication rule is in place it is enabled this is the name of the rule this is the destination bucket app config prod 2 and if i click on this bucket and open in a new tab you can see there is nothing in that bucket if i go back and i go to the main prod one bucket you can see there's nothing in this either i will upload a file and i will add file i'll just choose an html file i have an html file for test so i have that file i will say upload it has uploaded this file it's a text html file i can go to the second tab where the second bucket is and I can refresh this you can see that there is a file of 183 bytes exactly same as it is in US East 1 and it has replicated within few milliseconds it all depends upon how big the file is if the file is huge it may take some time to replicate over different region but it is pretty good in that so anytime you will do an update in region 1 it will also do an update in region 2 because it is going to keep a version of it and the newer versions that are saved will be replicated in the second region also hope this was helpful this is all we have in the lab today this is the end of the episode thank you for watching if you like the video please like share subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates this is your host Bhavesh Kumar signing off. Thank you.